morning. Welcome to today's press briefing. The Secretary for Security will first speak before answering questions. Secretary, please. The National Security Department of the Hong Kong Police took action to arrest five people for suspicion of colluding with foreign uh, country or external elements to endanger national security. The arrestees are suspected uh, to have conspired to publish dozens of articles on the Apple Daily to collude with foreign forces, appealing to foreign countries to impose sanctions against the PRC as well as the Hong Kong SAR. And these articles have also been published online. The acts endangered national security. The arrestees are people um, responsible in charge, directors, as well as, uh, con uh, as well as uh, companies in relation to these acts. They are the Apple Daily publishing companies, um, the on Apple Daily online companies, as well as uh, re affiliate companies of the Next Digital, as well as uh, the persons in charge. According to a court warrant, the police have also searched a number of premises, including Next Digital Building. The warrant empowered the police to search evidence related to the case regardless of whether they are journalistic materials. I have also issued a notice to freeze assets empowered under the power of these national uh, under the power of the security um, secretary amounting to about 18 million dollars. The police have already spoken to the press covering the salient points of the operation. I'm not going to repeat that. I'd like to reiterate a number of things, though. First, the investigation of the police is ongoing. They will investigate into anyone, including people within the company and outside the companies. The investigation will look into whether they have assisted in instigated or subsidized fund funded relevant offenses. Anyone who have participated in these offenses will be held responsible. Secondly, the action taken is not related to normal journalistic work. The action targeted the use of journalistic work as a tool to endanger national security. Normal journalists are different from these people. Please keep a distance from them. National security is of paramount importance. Acts endangering national security is a serious crime. Certain offenses may end up with a life imprisonment. Anyone who engages in journalistic work will have to abide by the laws of Hong Kong, including the National Security Law of Hong Kong. Some companies try to use journalistic work as a shield or a cover to engage in acts that endanger national security. The Hong Kong SAR government will use the most vigorous measures to, to cut down on these acts according to the law. The freezing of assets is related to assets used uh, in acts endangering national security. They are proceeds of uh, an asset of um, perpetrators and criminals. That is in line with international practices. We try to prevent perpetrators and criminals to make use of the assets to continue their acts of crime or acts that continue to endanger national security. These monies are different from lawful assets and property of citizens. I'd like to say here that you should not collude with these perpetrators. Do not play cahoots with them. Otherwise, you will pay a hefty fr 
price. Distance yourself from them. Otherwise, all you are left with are regrets. We will now answer questions. Please raise your hand. We will name you. You'll be given a microphone. Identify your organization and keep your questions to under two. Uh, the gentleman on the left at the back. I'm from Cable TV. I'd like to ask, according to Article 21 of the National Security Law, members of the public who subscribe um, the Apple Daily or uh, buy a share of uh, uh, Next Digital, uh, does it amount to funding? Uh, have they committed national security law? And you have frozen one of the companies, which is the Apple Daily Printing Limited. Well, uh, does it mean that uh, they have to cease operation or any assets outside the 18 million can be used? Well, is it another way to stop the operation of Apple Daily? If the Apple Daily continue to operate, does it mean that they have uh, contravened the warrant or any, or any other laws? An act that endangers national security. We will first look at the motive and the uh, and the action. If the motive is not to endanger national security, the acts do not constitute a crime under the national security law. The freezing of the company's asset is done under the national security law. I exercise my power as the Secretary for Security to freeze assets that I suspect to be involved in the offences. The disposal of such assets cannot be done unless with my consent. All details are implemented according to the notice I have issued. On the right hand side, my right hand side, are the lady wearing a pink mask. I'm from TVB. I have three questions. Just now, the police said that the articles involved is the main point of the conspiracy. What plans are they? There are dozens of articles. Which ones are related to appealing to foreign countries to sanction Hong Kong SAR or the PRC? And what form are they? Are they just um, um, are they just editorials or uh, news articles or? Uh, Comments. Well, let's consider the case this way. As I explained just now, the persons involved in this case on this occasion published a number of articles through Apple Daily, and it is part of the plan to collude with foreign forces to endanger national security. Of course, in police investigation, Evidence will be gathered and adduced to the court, and the investigation is still ongoing. As to how the evidence would be used in a case, as to what evidence would be adduced for full consideration by the parties, definitely this will be looked into by the Department of Justice in the process. So on this occasion, the emphasis is a plan of conspiracy to collude with foreign forces. And what you just mentioned forms part of the conspiracy. And the police is now investigating into the case. So I'm afraid I'm not in a position to disclose all the details now. You also asked another question about the relevant companies continuing with their operations. We act in accordance with the laws of Hong Kong. Of course, it's up to the company to decide on its own operational matters. As far as the laws are concerned, definitely we will fully consider all the measures we can take because endangering Endangering national security is a grave uh, crime, and definitely we will 
deployed all the measures available to tackle that. And in terms of the police's action, definitely the police would plan the next step in accordance with the evidence gathered and the process of uh, the progress of investigation. The next reporter. Questions from RTHK English News. First, can um, Mr. Lee tell us whether the reports concerned are commentary or whether Apple Daily was simply quoting people, like interviewees and people they interviewed. How can reporters draw the line when they are reporting on foreign sanctions or actions targeting China or Hong Kong without getting into trouble? And are you saying media outlets should in future self-censor self -censor all these content? Second question, when you say people should distance themselves from Apple Daily quote-unquote criminals, are you saying that people should not buy Apple Daily papers and stocks anymore, they should not share the polls, or they should not um, even um, like the polls on social media? Thank you very much. Or they will get into trouble. Thank you. This case involves a conspiracy. We are talking a conspiracy in which there are a series of acts. The police have already informed the media that one of the acts involve publication at Apple Daily and also online news regarding articles that invite foreign countries, external elements to impose sanctions or take hostile activities against Hong Kong and the PRC. This is the conspiracy. We are not talking about media work or journalist work. We are talking about a conspiracy in which the suspects try to make use of journalistic work to collude with a foreign country or external elements to impose sanction or take hostile activities against Hong Kong and PRC. So we need to look at that. And also, we need to differentiate what these suspects have done from normal journalistic work. Normal journalistic work, of course, takes place freely and lawfully in Hong Kong. And I do not envisage any professional journalist would be conspiring to do any act to endanger national security. So the answer is simple. Do your journalistic work as freely as you like in accordance with the law, provided you do not conspire or have any intention to break the Hong Kong law and certainly not the Hong Kong national security law. The second thing is the suspects have been arrested on strong evidence that they are conspiring to endanger national security. It is your choice whether you will regard them as part of you who go about your journalistic work lawfully and properly. If anybody's act causes damage to the reputation of journalistic work as a whole because they are involved in a conspiracy, then it is only to the good and credibility of Hong Kong journalistic work that action is taken against the criminals who make use of journalistic work as a tool to further their criminal activities. This male reporter in grey on the right hand side. I'm Kathleen from Oriental Daily. Good afternoon, Secretary. According to the police in 
they've been investigating the case for a long time. Are you confident in convicting the five senior management staff in Apple Daily? Earlier, there was a saying that uh, by July, Apple Daily would be uh, stopped. So are you confident that uh, Apple Daily would cease its uh, operation by July? And would you call Apple Daily a criminal syndicate? Because you warned employees to be careful this morning. Does it mean that you're encouraging employees to hop to another job? The police have, have taken action on the basis of facts and evidence, and then I'm very confident in the police's operation this time. And according to the information provided by the police, in terms of the gathering of evidence, I would say that I have um, a lot of trust in the police, and I am confident that the police will be able to complete the investigation and yield a substantive result. Second, we have rule of law in Hong Kong, and our actions are based on the laws of Hong Kong. So in relation to what action should be taken against any particular company, definitely we'll consider the actual situation, the evidence available, and the and what is allowed under the law. And we'll consider all options because national security is of paramount importance. And as I said a number of times, endangering national security is a grave offense, and we will make sure that the criminals will feel the full force of the law. So if the law allows us to take effective and lawful measures to tackle the uh, criminal activities, definitely we will um, pursue accordingly. As for the suspects arrested in this case, they play a crucial role in the company's operation. Now, the investigation is still ongoing, and the evidence gathered will focus on um, the suspects and as well what, oper uh, what action will be taken. I think that uh, we should first wait for the police to complete this investigation. However, in terms of any person who assists, uh, incites or funds any activity that endangers national security, these uh, individuals will be breaking the national security law. So everyone has to decide for themselves. But let me make it very clear that first of all, we must not makes up uh, reporters who are doing normal, lawful, journalistic work with these criminals. Because like I said, this case involves a criminal conspiracy. So everyone must decide for themselves. Uh, two more questions. The one in blue in the third row. I'm from Citizens News. I have two questions. First, you mentioned quite clearly in both English and Chinese, about uh, online reporting about um, conspiracy that threatens national security. How do you, how do we differentiate news report, quotations uh, of uh, official sources on an online platform? And how will such materials be used as evidence? Reporters involved in the, in the reporting, will, will they be arrested? Secondly, would you consider publishing these um, articles in question so that uh, the Hong Kong public would be aware of it? Would you ask online platforms to take the relevant articles down? I understand where you come from because you are conducting normal journalistic work, but I must emphasize that this is an offense of criminal conspiracy. The suspects are, are involved in the use of journalistic work as a tool. Apart from looking at the content of the articles in question, we also look at the overall picture as to how the conspiracy has been conducted, whether they are in the form of uh, physical copies of newspapers or online articles. We are looking at criminal conspiracy. 
in relation to evidence in the case. They may be used in future investigation as well as in court trials, so I'm not going to divulge any details. Thirdly, whether it is the company or reporters, if they're doing their work, all they need to consider is whether whether they are working within the laws of the Hong Kong. If it's allowed in the law in the laws of Hong Kong, of course. If it is normal journalistic work, you're free to do so. It's just like what you're doing now. It's a normal uh, line of work in the journalistic world. Please understand that our actions are not targeting um, press freedom or journalistic work. We target conspiracies that threaten national security. We target perpetrators who use journalistic work as a tool to engage in acts that endanger national security. They are two different things. Please be sure to differentiate them. Last question. The lady at the back. I'm from Commercial Radio. You mentioned a number of times that this is different from normal journalistic work. They should not be mixed together. A number of reporters have asked how to draw the line, how to make the differentiation. Well, are they just simply quotations used in an article or commentary? A lot of newspapers and uh, the press have covered relevant sanctions. Does it mean that all of us will have to be uh, arrested? Well, the actions are taken before the 1st of July. Any political considerations? Or is it uh, in the wake of the um, uh, counter-sanction laws against a uh, uh, counter-foreign country sanction laws imposed by the PRC? When you conduct your work, all you need to do is to consider your action and your motive, whether they are involved in acts endangering national security. If there is none of these, then you will not be caught by the law because you're doing something lawful. Secondly, we do not, it's not the case that we are targeting the press. Your, the answer to your question is negative because we're looking at criminal conspiracy in our investigation. If anyone has participated in, in instigating, assisting, or uh, conniving with acts that endanger national security, then they might be arrested. As I said, that their actions are not directly related to journalistic work. We have been operating in accordance with the law when sufficient evidence has been gathered by the police. The police will then, in accordance with the laws and the evidence gathered, take action. We're operating in accordance with the law to target these criminal activities to safeguard national security. That's the end of the press briefing. Thank you.